Okay, forgive me if this is a repeated tutorial, because I felt like I had already done this, but then I just searched through my playlists and I did not see this. And uh, if you look here in my uh, uh, file browser, you'll see that I have uh, two flash drives plugged in right now. Both of them are, are bootable uh, drives with uh, multiple versions of Linux on them. The one's called multi-boot and the other one's called Mint, because it has Mint on it. Uh, and the question is, how do you label them so that they have names like that? Uh, this is something that's embedded onto the device. Uh, when you, uh, after you partition it, you can create a label for it. And the uh, technique is different for FAT32 or FAT16, FAT partitions, and they are uh, native Linux partitions. So uh, to quickly show you uh, the way you would label a device, first you have to find out what the device is called or what the device uh, partition is. So let's just unmount and list all my mounted uh, drives. And uh, let's rename this one that's labeled Mint to something. And we can see here that it's device uh, SDC. So what we're going to do is we're going to say sudo. And you have to have sudo permission to make these changes. And we're going to use a command called uh, mlabel. And we're going to say dash i for uh, input device. And we're going to say it's going to be device, as we just said, sdc1. And then we're going to do space, colon, colon, and then the label we want to label this. And I'll just call it mint10 in this case, because it is mint10. Um, and I will go ahead and hit enter. And it doesn't give me any confirmation. As long as you don't get any errors, it should have worked. If we run mount again, you'll see that nothing has changed. Now, why is that? I have no clue. Let's look in here and see. Um, where am I? Right here. Uh, it does say Mint 10. Uh, maybe this just needs to be refreshed somehow. Let's run Mount again. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm reading where it's mounted. That's why it doesn't look like it changed there. I'm sure if I unmount it and remount it, it will mount it. Because normally, uh, depending on your distro of Linux, it will mount it under media and then the label of your device. And since this is already mounted and we didn't unmount it, that did not change, but the actual label did. Once again, going through all these. So right here, you can now see that this says mint 10. Let's uh, do that again. Once again, it's sudo mlabel dash i, the device name, which was sdc1 in this case space colon colon and we'll just give it a whole new name now let's call it Linux we'll hit enter there and if we go back here you can see right away it's been changed to Linux even though it's still mounted at uh, media forward slash mint if we um, remove that I will plug it back in here and there it is Linux now if I hover over it it should say, yeah, it mounted it under media forward slash Linux, uh, because at least uh, most distros, not all distros, will mount according to the label of the device under media. Um, so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I hope you found it useful. Once again, the command is mlabel, and it's mlabel-i for your input device, then the device to the partition, and colon, colon, and the label you want to give it. Uh, I thank you for watching, and I hope that you have a great day.